Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in again. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing those rocks that I picked at um, Isherwood Beach after my phone died. I promised I'd show them so um, didn't feel like going all the way out to the beach again today. It was a little cold and uh, actually I'm getting kind of tired of being, being cold. I wish it would just warm up already. And uh, anyway, so I just decided I'd uh, show them here at, at my house. And uh, But before that, I know a lot of you guys probably enjoy the outdoors as much as me and uh, maybe do some gardening so I thought I'd show you um, some of my plants and some of the rocks that I had that are, are scattered around my yard so um, I just moved into this house not too long ago so bear with me if uh, you know some windows and trim looks like it needs painted and, and stuff like that so I'm doing the best that I can and uh, anyways uh, here we go so here we have some celosia these are annuals. I'm not sure what all types of plants you guys have in your area, but uh, I always thought these ones are really cool. Got some different succulents going on here. Um, this started up my my fairy garden. Um, got a few, got some cactuses and and stuff, and uh, some different rocks that I've. I found out while I was hiking and stuff like that, so not all of them are, are featured in my videos. Most of them are. Some pretty neat ones. These are a few of my favorites. I've got this one's got some really interesting colors on it. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, sorry about that. My neighbor is doing some remodeling. Uh, try to edit that out as best as I can. Just got this really pretty hibiscus today. This one's really cool. It's a type of um, oxalis, which is clover. It's got these little pretty white flowers that come on them. Got some New Guinea impatience. Got these geraniums here. Who doesn't like geraniums, huh? Some aloe. And my statue of St. Francis of Assisi, patron saint of animals. Got this really pretty Christmas cactus here. To bear with me, I can't remember the name of all these flowers, so I do have some some snapdragons, some purple salvia, it's a type of sage, I think that's um, some portulaca, some pink and yellow ones. This one's a favorite of mine, it's the Mandevilla. It's got these really beautiful pink flowers, like a climbing vine. I had one flower on it, but it's gone right now. <laughs> Some petunias. Yeah garden going here. I got some cilantro, some tomatoes over there. I got some jalapenos. Got these turnips that are starting to pop up. Radishes, cucumbers, broccoli, cauliflower. Got some onions going over here. Got some bok choy. Got 
Got a lot of plants to attract hummingbirds and butterflies. Um, these are, I believe, are called agastache. Lots of different types of columbine. Another one of my favorites. These ones are really pretty. these guys Let's see why columbines are some of my favorite this is a um, called wand flower this actually gets these really gorgeous little pink trumpet looking flowers that grow on it this one's got to go on the ground yet this one's uh, the dicentra you can see that's gonna look pretty awesome Got some astral bee. Got this uh, white gelia over here. This one's keeps these golden um, leaves all year round. It's got these uh, pinkish, reddish flowers that pop up. Really good for attracting hummingbirds. Some bleeding heart over here. I love hostas. We got some hostas, a couple different kinds. Some daffodils that are getting a little late now. Usually one of the first ones to pop up around here, daffodils and tulips and hyacinths. Got all those around the yard. Got some more begonias there. Does. Got some European ginger there. Got some uh, angel bells. Get these really pretty white flowers. They're gonna go nice with these hostas here. Just put this mulch down today. Got some fuchsias. Over here we have a uh, the chipmunks like to hide out and run around there. Actually, not out right now. They like to get into my pots and make a mess. Today's the first day that they actually haven't made a mess. These guys are called caladiums. Another one of my favorites. Got some more over here. All right, so back to the part of the video that the reason why I'm filming it. And here, this bucket. These are the ones that I have from from last week. And uh, <laughs> this bigger bucket are the ones that I I got after the battery went out. So. So I thought I'd like to show you guys again the some of my more favorite rocks in the last video. We got some of that fossilized coral, a favocite. Let's see that uh, honeycomb in there. Some people call it Charlotte Bois stone. This was that really nice one that I found. Put this one on display somewhere. It's got a really cool color to it, like sherbet or something, peach sherbet. 
I know everyone says sherbet, but I think it's actually sherbet. If you look at the word there's, there's only one R in the word. <laughs> but we all say sherbet. This one I'm definitely going to polish. So awesome. Never found one like this one before. This one's pretty neat. If anybody has any idea what that one is, I'd go ahead and comment on it. All right, so on to the next part of the video. So I'm just gonna try to pick out the, the best looking ones out of this huge bucket and uh, show you my more favorite ones so See, I got lots of lots of pieces of quartz in there. Lots of quartz with iron staining. Oh, I remember finding this one. I was so upset the battery died. This is right after the battery died. I found this one. A lot of these are just going to go around my garden. Some blue shirt there, I think. That one's pretty neat. It's just got that one little dot on it. I'm almost afraid to tumble it. Maybe try to hand polish it or something. Actually, later on today, I'm going to be grinding down some some rocks that I'm going to tumble. I got some agates and some bloodstone and some jaspers and stuff that I want to tumble, but I want to get some of the rust spouts out of them before I tumble them. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video of that or not. I don't know if many of you ever watched my very first video I posted. It's kind of cringy. It was me cutting open some geodes. So I was doing it in my basement and the smoke detector was going off. It was, <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. I'm not saying you should go back and watch it, but if you want to for a good laugh, it's there.
This one's really cool, the, is it the salt and epidote or something. See, a lot of these could almost skip the first step in the tumbler, the, the lake, nature's tumbler has already done a pretty good job on a lot of these. Can't beat mother nature. Lots and lots of quartz in there. Not sure if this one's Jasper. I think so. Pretty cool reds and yellows in there. I'm not sure if this is Jasperite, Hematite, and Jasper. I'm not sure. Not a geologist, that's for sure. <laughs> but I'm always learning. I'm always reading books and members of different rock groups and stuff. And I'm not really caught up in the, the names of all the rocks. It's fun just to collect them and So I'm not really caught up in rocks having energies or magical powers or, or any of that kind of stuff. You know, some rocks do kind of have a have a good feel to them, and that's I think why a lot of us just pick them up. They just feel right in our hand. And but you know, are they going to ward off evil spirits or get me more money or help my anxiety go away? I don't think so. Oh yeah, look at this one. I don't know if some people call that an agate or not. There again, a lot of times I, I get an agate and I get, you know, I think I get an agate, I get home and actually get a closer look and I think it's just like a fossilized stromatoporid or some bandage hurt or something agatized coral but just went through and picked out all the rocks that I didn't really think were worth sharing so all these ones in the bucket are ones that I thought were noteworthy to show people rocks like ones that they don't find in their area that's the best part you know is got my buddy rookie rock hounding over there in Australia that just finds the most amazing rocks I would love to find but <laughs> I ain't never gonna find anything like that around here but hopefully there's rocks that I find that he, he thinks are cool
Another one of my favorite channels, um, Up North Adventures with CCC. She's got some really amazing rocks that she finds. Just a little further north of me. Finds one similar to mine. She's lucky she finds a lot more agates than I do. But seems to find all the agates a little further south down here I get uh, these pieces of uh, chalcedony and chert nodules but yeah Lake Superior agates are kind of a rarity as far south in Wisconsin. I believe this one's a uh he said Jasper. I find a decent amount of this stuff. Don't take most of it, but this one's pretty cool. I'm not really sure what this is. It's a type of sandstone or something. Doesn't really have that greeny feel of sandstone too much, but this one I thought had a really cool pattern to it. Turned out to be such a nice day. It was pretty cold earlier. I don't know, 50 something, but it feels like it's up into the 70s now. I live uh, not even a mile from the lake, so I think I might, after this video, go down there for a little bit and just relax and listen to the waves, maybe even ride my bike down there. thank everybody for watching my bike video that I posted it's my first one that I posted just got a new bike mount for my camera and wasn't sure how reliable it was gonna be but did all right you know I just gotta work on that wind and unless the camera kind of Went out of focus a couple times, but can't remember what these are called. I think that's just like rhyolite and chalcedony. It's not a migdaloidal basalt. Looks kind of similar, but I do not think it is.
This does polish up all right. Looks pretty cool. So a piece of uh, beach glass there. Mostly fine green and clear, obviously, but sometimes you find some cool blue, blue beach glass. This one's a tiny little guy, but so it's always pretty neat. It's kind of hard to focus on that one. All right, we only got a handful left. Sitting directly in the sun, it's, <laughs> it's getting pretty warm. I have a hoodie on because it was, like I said, it was a little cool earlier, but it's starting to roast now. I think some of these tiny ones are worth showing. They're pretty neat. Nothing stupendous, but not to be overlooked. If anybody's interested in doing a a rock trade with me let me know in the comments and uh, we'll arrange something I have buckets full of lots of rocks that I grabbed from Lake Michigan here southeastern Wisconsin and northern Illinois I do usually get a la large batch of rocks that I I tumble to and types of jasper and agates and stuff like that so One more, one more. Let's see what we got. What about this one? Alright, I want to thank everybody for watching. Until next time, take care. Happy hounding. Bye-bye.